You're listening to PodcasterNews.com. Welcome to the L.A. Story Podcast with Stevie Wilson. Story. We're back here with Kaz at Warren Tricomi, and if you didn't see him on MTV's Get Hired, or is it Hired? Uh, yeah. Hired. 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 Um, you're not the only one. I haven't seen it yet either, but we're going to try and find out when that's playing. But Kaz is going to tell us what the key tools are that you're going to need for summer's hair looks, the key ones. Absolutely. For summer, I think that these are my favorite tools to use. I think these are the best for our clients. Uh, at home to be able to use. Uh, we're going to start off with the curling iron. It's the hot tools curling iron. Okay. Uh, this particular one is a uh, Marcel, meaning that it grow, this, this handle turns around. Oh. But you can get, this is a little more difficult to use, but if you can kind of master this, it's really a great tool to use. But they do make some with a clamp. A clamp meaning that it just clamps down. Right. So, but because this rolls around, so we can kind of like curl your hair and just roll it. I like that part, okay, except the handle, that the handle turns around. Yeah, it's just hard for if you're not used to using it. Yeah, well, you know, if you try it up a couple of times, do the ends. Yeah. I think it's the best way to go. Okay. But the hot tools myself. Uh, my favorite um, flat iron is go to. Okay. Flat iron, I think it's amazing. It's got a really great plate. Here, let's zoom in on this. So you can actually see that it's actually bevel. That's nice. Yeah, slightly bevel. Uh, another trick about flat irons, they get damaged very easily. What you want to do when you put your flat iron away is get a rubber band and just make sure the ends here are clamped. And oh. keeps, it keeps the plates uh, really safe. So they don't get scratched. But when they get a little scratch, they don't perform as well. I didn't uh, know that. So get a little rubber band, just wrap it around it on the ends here so it stays closed all the time. You know, That's a good idea. You're not using. So when you throw it in a bag or in your closet or in a drawer, okay. it's scratched up. Uh, one thing about the sign, it goes up to 450, and that's what everybody said. Does it go up to 450? It's really, you really don't need that much heat. No, you don't. That's it's just too much heat. I recommend about 380 or less on your hair. Yeah. You have, uh, depending on the personality of your hair, meaning what textures is it fine, yeah. is it thick, so I call it personality. Well, that, that's a, actually a great description. Because hair, you know, it has its own personality and how it behaves. Yeah. You know, one day you can do your hair and flat iron it, it comes out perfect, the next day it doesn't. So maybe that day your hair doesn't feel like it. So then you can adjust the temperature and make it a little hotter if it's not performing or it's acting up. Okay. 380 is really good usually. Uh, another tool I like is a flat brush. This company is called GoTo. I like their brushes. They're really well done. They're matte. They don't slip out of your hands. Okay. When your hands have a lot of product, it brushes them to slip out of your hands. Okay. So it's a matte finish. So I, I like the. It's not slippery. It's not slippery. See, at all. And, and see that? It's. It's a little matte finish. Yeah. So this is glossy. See glossy right there? Yeah. Matte. Is the um is the brush beveled on the other side? A little it's bit. It's got a little bit of a bevel to it. You see? Yeah. But it's got really nice nylons. In oh, here it is. That. There's a there's an it, there's a discussion now about whole bristle brushes. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Some people are saying that whole bristle because it's actually hair from the right. wall that has cuticles in it and it can be damaging to the hair. So there's research being done right now. So I don't know if that's true or not, but um, that's interesting. Yeah, and some people are having issue because of whole bristles, like uh, the way it performs on your hair. Like I said, uh, it heats up. Sure. It's just like taking your hair. Let's just have it to be. Oh. It does have a cuticle, so they're, they're doing research. It would transmit heat too. Transmit heat. And it's also could be possibly damaging, we don't know yet. Well, as soon as we find out, we'll let you know. Oh, that'd be good. But in the meantime, the most famous brush Mason Pearson. So, Mason Pearson, which has a combination of uh, boar bristle and nylon. That's cool. There's two different Mason Pearsons. One has boar bristle and nylon. One is ball bristle only. Okay. There's a difference in performance in both brushes. If you have a, if you set your hair with hot rollers and you want to take most of the set out, you would use a nylon and ball bristle. Okay. Mixed. 
if you want a slight kind of surface brush, you would use just a pure bull bristle. Okay. It doesn't take your curl out. It kind of works on the surface. Okay. So there's a definite design for that, and most people are not aware of it. Why there's a combination of bull bristle and nylon, and the purpose is to actually brushing that set out a little stronger. The one that's pure bull bristle right. takes the surface and smooths the surface. Okay. So if you have a ponytail or something like that, you would use a pure bull bristle. Right. And you keep it um, I like this dry. It's really nice and light. It's nice to use at home. Uh, it's oh, not velocity. too heavy. Because what happens, you know, at home you got this and you got this. It gets a little heavy after a while. So you want something fairly light. There are some other dryers on the market that are lighter. I just prefer this one right now. That's okay. Which is really nice. It's consistent and it's good. So for, some, for the summer looks, you're definitely going to need a curling right. iron, flat iron, and braid brushes. Yes, absolutely. To create the looks. So let's go and talk about the looks now. Okay. Okay, great. Thanks for joining Stevie Wilson on LA Story. Feel free to check out other podcasts and videos. Bookmark it now. www.la-story.com.